Welcome to another Altera Central technical video. In today's video, we will take a look at pen map and a brief overview of collecting points, staking points, and navigating a line. Let's get into it. First, let's create a pen map project by opening pen map and simply clicking the plus on the bottom right to start a new project. We'll go ahead and give it a project name and we will choose one of the default templates. We could choose to give it a tag or comments, but we're going to skip that for now and click Next to select our coordinate system and datum. So now we'll select US State Plane 1983. We'll pick our zone and then the datum of NAT 83 2011 since we are in the continental US. And then of course we'll select our geoid model which is GEOID 18 CONUS. We'll go ahead and click Next. We'll choose our manufacturer, in this case it's Trimble and then we'll pick the Catalyst DA2 antenna, which is what we're using today, and we'll make sure that we are Bluetooth paired to that receiver. Now we'll hit Next, and we'll hit Next again because we are using the Trimble Corrections Hub for this Catalyst DA2, and we'll hit Done here because we will accept the quality logging indicator settings. Now that our map is open, we're going to go ahead and tap Topo. That will bring us into the main menu, and we'll tap on Start GNSS to activate the receiver connection. Here we are confirming our antenna height, 2 meter rod or 6.562 feet. We'll hit the check mark. You'll see it's connected to the instrument, and we'll go ahead and zoom in on our area here after we connect to our correction source. So we're connected to Trimble RTX through the Trimble Corrections Hub on the DA2. We'll go ahead and zoom in here. And then we'll press and hold on the GNSS button and go to the position to take a look at our coordinates. We can also see our RTK solution status, our estimated accuracy, local and global coordinates. Now let's collect a feature by tapping on Select Eye Feature and choosing the feature in this pre-built template. We'll go ahead and pick Location Point and then we simply tap the GNSS button in the bottom left corner to take our averaged shot, which is set at five seconds or five epics. Now let's zoom into the point and we're gonna stake out to it. So first we have to hit the back arrow, click stake out in the bottom right, and then click stake point in the bottom left. And then we'll choose the node on the map and it's gonna tell us how far we are and which direction to go to get to that point. And as we get closer, it automatically zooms for us, tells us our XYZ distance to that feature. And as we get really close, the bubble will highlight green indicating that we're within our staking tolerance. Now let's look at the point manager for staking out points. So hitting the three lines in the top left and then point manager, we can see a list of points. We can highlight it, choose to stake out in the bottom left, and now we'll take an as stake shot by tapping the GPS button in the bottom center. And there's our limit report. Once we hit accept, you will see the as staked point as the point number underscore STK. Lastly, we're going to move into navigating a line, which is similar to a line stakeout. For this, you need a line feature to tap on. So first, we're going to tap on navigate a line, then select graphic, then choose our tolerance. And then tap OK. And you'll notice as we zoom in closer or as we get closer to the line, you'll see your tolerance is represented by a buffer. And if you're within that tolerance, it highlights green. And if you're outside, it's no longer highlighted. You'll also notice on the bottom left, the perpendicular distance to the line. And then on the bottom right, the distance along the line from the starting point. Thanks again for joining us for another Altera Central technical video. Until next time.